Hey y'all, it's your little mixed girl Selena from the South and today I have with y'all finally something that y'all been asking for, my reaction from my parents. Today I have my da dad, <laughs> I was supposed to say daughter, <laughs> my yes, dad my <laughs> in honor of Father's Day. So we are gonna take the time to relive when I told you I was pregnant. Okay. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. Do you remember when I first told you I was pregnant? Ah, uh, yes, I remember. Okay. You called me into the living room. Okay. And mom kind of cheated, though. She kind of gave she me. She told you, up. didn't? Yeah. Okay. So mom told you. Uh, when she told you, how did you like? What was your first thoughts? When she told me, I was like. Wow. She's too young. She just graduated high school. She's got her whole life ahead of her. She does not understand the big responsibility that's about to hit her. That was deep. Mm -hmm. Dang. Oh. Okay. Rude. It's your first feeling. Not like your first thought, but your first feeling. First feeling, not thoughts. Yeah, like how you felt. When mom said, Selena's about to tell you I was pregnant. Or, no, actually, how did you feel when I brought out the pregnancy test and I handed it to you? And you actually saw the proof on the pregnancy test. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought, wow, this is, this is for real. Um, my daughter is going to have a little baby. And what are we going to do to prepare her in the next nine months to get her ready? Well, at that point, it probably would have been eight. But um, just hoping that we raised her right throughout the years and gave her a good foundation that uh, she was able, or she's going to be able to uh, take this new challenge on. I was like, I'm a watermelon. But yes, I agree. I was listening. You weren't even there. <laughs> I was Someone asked, were you scared for me? Yeah, a little bit. Why were you scared? Oh. Should I get tissues? No. Because you look like you're already keep getting a little teary eyed. <laughs> uh, again, it's just a huge responsibility, and you're too young. I don't think you know. You knew what you were about to face and embark on this this new life that is going to be dependent on you at least for the next 18 years and how they're just going to be holding their every their every moment and their every desire, their every care, their every want um, through you. It's a big responsibility. Alrighty. Understood. Now that we've experienced the entire pregnancy and your initial thoughts, has your feelings and thoughts changed, even though you still think, yes, I'm young, do you think I've actually took on the role that I need to in order to prepare for her? Prepare for her. Without a doubt. Honestly, I was not prepared for what my dad was about to say next about me, but anyway, let's continue. Uh, your mother and I have talked about it before. We talk about it quite often, actually, about how, how you've matured in his last last few months um, that Thanks. you were taking this this new chapter in your life this new journey that you're about to like I said about to go on and uh, you've embraced it you've you've not only embraced it but you 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 know took it on head on you went after it you didn't hide from it you didn't whimper from it, you didn't back down from it, you didn't try to make excuses about it. You said, yep, this is what had happened. I'm pregnant, I'm having a baby. Now I gotta make things happen in my life. And you went out there and you busted your butt, you got your job, you worked hard, you paid off your car. So, very, uh, very impressed. Thanks, that's about to make me emotional. That's like, thanks, Dad. 
What do you look forward to see as I become a well? I am a mom already. Apparently, mm -hmm. almost giving birth. But what do you look for the most of me becoming a mother and having a child of my own? Just how you're gonna nurture her and and just how you're gonna raise her and teach her to be a young lady and just give her all the love and affection that hopefully me and your mother gave you that you'll be able to pass it on to her. That's a really emotional video. Oh, why did I sign up for this? Okay, so what has been your favorite part so far about my pregnancy? Uh, watching the excitement you get when you feel her move and uh, even though here lately it's been painful. Uh, <laughs> yes. Especially the first time that you felt her move, you were so excited and the, and the look on your face, the smile on your face. But this isn't about me, it's about you. Like what was your favorite part? Because when you felt her move well, for the first happy, time, you freaked out. When you're happy, I'm happy. So to see you, um, just like I said before, just embrace this pregnancy and take it on of your own as your own and own it, as people say, then um, you stepped up to the plate, to the challenge, whatever lingo you want to use there, and seeing that so makes me happy. So your favorite part was basically just seeing my growth. The favorite, so my favorite <laughs> part would be watching your your body mature as you you develop this human inside of you, this human being, this new life, this creation, um, and just Well, my dad is it. actually on the subject. We were in the car. I just thought of a story time real quick. We were in the car, and my dad's look about pregnancy like just hit me. Like It made me so emotional. I'm going to let my dad give the perspective of pregnancy in general, of how he feels, like what a woman's body like goes through in order to produce a child. But it, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? No, I have no idea what you're saying. We were, <laughs> we were in the car and you were just going on about how it was on a trip back from Nashville. And you were just saying how like incredible a woman's body is. How you think like it's just amazing how you can grow. Oh, And then yeah. they like detach into their own human. Yeah, yeah, how how amazing that the Lord has, has blessed women to actually birth a baby from from her womb, um, from from her inside, and just as it starts, it just you know two cells, three cells, and then it develops and just keeps on growing. You know everybody knows the story, and you know how how you know sperm and an egg on the zygote and all that stuff, and I got you that's go just way back in you know high school. You remember that from science class, or biology class, and then. Um, how that microscopic baby then develops, or fetus, develops into a baby, and throughout the pregnancy, throughout the one month, two months, three months, you can see this little, just small dot start to form a little, a little curvature to, to herself, and then little a head pops out and then you can see the feet developing then you can see the hands and you can see you know as you know Selena took us on this journey with her she told us about you know you know at three months it was the size of an orange or <laughs> five months it was the size of yeah. a grapefruit and, you know she she gave all these analogies so we could understand and see how big it was inside of her and it's, still to this day it's just amazing that there is a human a baby a living breathing well, she'll be breathing on her own here pretty soon. Um, yeah. Human, another life. You know, from one body comes two. And yeah. it's just an amazing process that the Lord has, has granted us, his children, with to reproduce and to, to you know, because it's biblical that we're supposed to reproduce and, and make this earth plentiful. Um, the thing that you said, you said her. And it made me lead to my next question in the middle of that. Mm -hmm. I know that was just so beautiful, right? Okay, anyway. Um, you said her. When your initial thought, you thought I was going to have a boy, right? Yes. Yep. Why I did you think I was going to have a boy? Because mom had her boys first? 
No. Nope. That's why uh-uh. I thought I was going to have a boy, because Mom had her boys first. No. Nope. Um, the clue that you gave us, for some reason, I thought it was a boy. Do you see that? Um, Look at that. Yeah. That's her butt. Mm-hmm. Or her back. You can see that in the video. Yeah. What the heck? Okay, sorry. Mm-hmm. I got distracted. What were you saying? <laughs> Why did you think I was going to have a boy? Well, because if you remember, you gave us a hint after you went to the, the sonogram. For whatever reason, I thought that hint was leaning towards a boy. Do but you remember mom, what I said? Yeah, you said it looked like a frog. I said it was obvious what the gender was. Yeah, but you said frog. And for whatever reason, I thought a frog meant a boy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> because of a tadpole having that little tail, I thought that's what you were referring to. That tail would have been the male anatomy. But apparently mom knew all along because she told me right before the reveal at the reveal. I told Period. She was saying, it's a good girl, it's a girl, I don't, and then. Mom just wanted a girl though. She did not want another boy. Yeah, probably. <laughs> she wanted a girl. Yeah. No, because I originally thought boy, and then two weeks before my ultrasound, that's when I was like, I'm having a girl. Like, I just felt it that I was having a girl. And then when it was confirmed, I was completely shocked. All right, I think that is, like, all the questions that we have. Okay, Dad. Daughter. I just want to say, since it was Father's Day, actually, and I didn't really tell you anything or, like, write you a speech, Mm -hmm. but... I just wanted to say to you, let me take off my glasses just in case I get teary eyed because you know all these hormones going on. Thank you for showing me through the years what a dad's role is and how a man is supposed to treat his wife. I appreciate you so much to show me how I'm supposed to be treated. And I just look forward to seeing you become a Grandpa for your first time. <laughs> Sorry, you're old, but <laughs> you get to be a grandfather now. So I'm excited for you as well to watch you grow as a grandfather because it's definitely not the same as having, you know, your daughter. Well, I'm glad that I was able to provide that for you. And now you know I mean, that it was one of my jobs. You know, that's again. God has appointed me, your earthly father, to to show you that, to give you the example. And I'm so relieved to hear that, that um, I did not fail at that task. I don't know why. My thoughts are everywhere. But, y'all, I'm going to insert the clip. It's like a one-minute clip of when my dad first heard the baby's heartbeat. All right, is this interview over? We gotta get going. (laughs) My dad is a huge baby. Like, he is a teddy bear. Like, he might look scary, and he's 6'5", tall and just whatever, but he is the biggest teddy bear you will ever meet. He had more reaction than I did. Like, I was already crying because it was really emotional for me, of course, but my dad immediately, as soon as he saw this baby for the first time he like freaked out (laughs) and it was so adorable like his reaction was so cute so we're gonna just insert that right here or right here remember she edits things so (laughs) believe what you see it's not edited though oh my gosh the little peanut oh my god it's flickering oh yeah see the heart right there selena Mm-hmm. We're gonna go ahead and listen to that. Oh, silence and mama. Mm-hmm. Daddy, you're the dishes, right? Give dad What are you talking about? <laughs> there must be some dust in this room or something. Your allergies. Well, I hope you enjoy this video as much as I loved creating it with my dad that has just left me. Oh, I thought he was gonna come back. Mm, sad face, he didn't. Oh, we're still going? Oh, okay, go ahead. I hope you enjoy this. Do you know my outros? No, just go ahead. I'm just going to sit in the background. Wow, thanks for the support, Dad. Try this one more time. Mm-hmm. I yeah. hope you enjoy this video as much as I loved creating it, and we will see you later, alligator. Bye! <laughs>